Hi, my name is Erin Curry, and I was born in San Antonio, Texas, 1972. What got you started on sculpting? Well, growing up in the 80s, I watched a lot of television, so I feel like television inspired me with like their vivid colors and how their visual information came out. I just loved how television can portray in my sculptures. Who inspires you? Well, a lot of people inspire me. First, I have to say Paulo Picasso, maybe Jonah Murrow. The vivid colors, they inspire me. What styles do your sculptures fall into? So some of my sculptures always have to include 2 and 3D. They're like kind of in between. And I like that because anyone can see it from any direction. How does mass play a part in your sculpting? Well, um, I like using mass in like many different ways. Uh, I use aluminum steel, plywood, cardboard. I love using bright colors just to send out the message that I'm just not like other sculptors. And um, I love using the in-between stage of 2D or 3D just to see the relationship between both. I've been a painter for most of my life, and I've started making sculptures in graduate school. I like to collect a lot of things, images, magazines, books, cereal boxes. Most of my sculptures are based on collage-based practices. When I first started doing sculptures, I went to what felt right to me. I went to plywood. Aluminum steel, plywood cardboard and bright coloring make the sculptures have their own style to it all my work relates back to the body i can work with sculptures for many years i can keep on moving them around until they fit my ideal sculpture i turn my small ideas into three-dimensional shapes well let's talk about one of my sculptures in particular, boy with horns with mountains in his pocket. And I know what you guys are thinking right now. This sculpture has nothing to do with a boy with horns. And yeah, you're right. This is an abstract sculpture that is just simply painted wood and anodized aluminum. I like using different types of wood to illustrate how a sculpture can be different compared to any other artist. My work as a whole shows vibrant colors and shows the depth of the sculpture as a whole. The colors I used in particular were hot pink and purple. As you can see, there is also a white undertone. I used these certain colors to portray how light can reflect on different parts of the sculpture. With these vibrant colors of hot pink and purple, it relates to some of Henry Moore's sculptures. Henry Moore was a sculptor that used particular woods to illustrate his sculpting. I named this sculpture Boy with Horns with Mountains in His Pocket because of how I used a sort of science fiction look to it. It represents my work and how people have to look at it long enough to actually understand the whole of the sculpture.